you know, how do I get the word out there as we kind of transition into it? Because we've got some people that are more comfortable with others. Uh, some people are, you know, can't believe that people are actually just not locked down in their homes. Some of us are out here doing brave souls out there networking and whatnot and getting the word out. So it's really all about how do we go forward from here, okay? So it's really focusing on A, what am I comfortable with? And, you know, how do I take advantage of the networking? and how do I get the word out there and, and stress my message and still differentiate yourself in the marketplace. So the first thing is obviously I'm a people person. I love getting out and Linda's a good friend of mine and she's been giving me a hard time. I can't believe you're gonna be meeting a person, but she's here, so she's a brave soul and she's, you know, she's made- I'm not it happy about it. <laughs> I've got some photographs and I told her they're on the lot down there if you don't come out. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so it's one of those things that, uh, you know, be sensitive to others as you're, you're out and about. And, you know, I asked Lauren when I saw her today, she kind of said, are we shaking or what are we doing? Uh, so we shook hands because I'm comfortable with that. But obviously I'm just carrying around my Duramax sanitizer and, you know, being conscious of touching my face and whatnot. Uh, I also have my mask. That's a mask. That's not something else. Let me open that up. Uh, but uh, that's one of those things, exactly, so you're prepared as well. Uh, so it's just being sensitive to others, but still, I don't think there's anything that you can replace that face-to-face -face interaction. Agreed. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that uh, people were, were instinctively uh, group uh, mentality, if you will. I see a lot of that, unfortunately, online as well. Uh, so that's, you know, as you go and start marketing yourself and network, just be sensitive to that, because the last thing you want to do is get overly excited, reach out to shake somebody's hand or you know, invade their personal space and they're they're not thinking about anything that you're saying, right? What are they thinking about? Get the hell away from me. <laughs> and, and, and so you've got to be sensitive to that too. And on the other side too, if you do have somebody that reaches out their, you know, their hand to you, just, you know, casually and don't overreact. Just, oh no, I'm still, I'm still a little uh, hypersensitive to that or sensitive to that, you know, just I'll do the elbow bump with you and make a little joke out of it. Because people are, you know, they're not being intentional as far as invading your space, they just have lost their mind, right? <laughs> you know, they just have lost the, the fact that, uh, you know, hey, I forgot about what's going on. Creatures of habit. It is, yeah. it's exactly creatures of habit. So, you know, be sensitive to that, but uh, don't, let, don't let it block your message. And that, that goes back to any kind of networking too, you know. Uh, you don't want to have face tattoos and, and try to do business because they're not even focusing on what you're saying. This is kind of that on a, on a lighter level, you know, don't, don't invade your space and whatnot. So a couple of things that I do want to stress about the group and what we're doing. So this is kind of the soft launch, if you will, the re-grand opening. And I'm really excited. I've gotten a lot of great uh, business out of this group. I've gotten uh, a lot of good friends out of this group as well. <laughs> Um, and you know, I've become a huge fan of Mexican food, specifically Elvis, <laughs> since I, I've been coming to this group. Uh, that's all due to one person. But um, we're gonna start to evolve and, and change the group up. So we're looking for some feedback. We wanna make it as successful as possible. One of the things I do wanna add, and this is something that uh, as, you know, I, you see my hair, I'm not 22 anymore, right? Uh, these, are, these are not highlights. <laughs> um, but we've got to evolve in the new marketplace, and that's one of the things that I've seen a lot of people succeed with this new world that we're in, but I've seen a lot of people actually struggle too. Uh, and one of the things that, uh, you know, I just turned 50 this past year, and uh, I'm, I'm an old Gen X, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm a Gen Xer, and I've been a little reluctant over the last little bit on social media. And that's one of the things that, uh, okay, I know I need to get better, so one of the things I want to encourage this group to do as we start to get back in person is encouraging that networking. Now, this has always been a great group for uh, the meetups and I would encourage everybody to meet one-on-one. -on -one. If it's not in person, at least on Zoom, not that not that you're gonna buy anything from me or you're gonna buy anything from me no or I'm gonna buy anything, well, Mo's I love. So you get what I'm saying. But it's all about getting to meet the people and getting to know them and those referrals passing back and forth. Okay. So to take that a step further, you know, obviously I'm encouraging everybody to meet one-on-one. -on -one. Even if, you know, I have no interest in quality issue, I don't know what I would ever use that for, right? But I may know somebody, and if I don't get to know you a little bit better, A, that trust isn't going to develop. And secondly, I'm not going to know what to listen for if somebody, because I don't know your world, right? And so it's like, you know, okay, hey, uh, you know, this is somebody you may want to talk to. So there's that aspect of it, but I want to take it a step further and start to challenge each of us to get on social media too. So one of the things I'm going to challenge as we kind of take this group forward is pair everybody up with somebody outside of your industry because 
obviously you don't want to be promoting, uh, you know, La Cantina's Mexican uh, you know, <laughs> food, whatever. You get what, Coast. Yeah. yeah, you get what I'm saying, Luca. Yeah, thank you for the example. Uh, so we're going to start pairing people up to do a quick uh, mini commercial for that person. Okay, so you and I would sit down and whether we do it together over Zoom or whatever, you can record all this and just take a quick 30 seconds. Hey, I had a chance to sit down with Dean and learn all about reverse mortgages and how they can really be a benefit to you know uh, retirees and whatnot. And here's a couple, one, two, three reasons why. And then he would do the same for me. And then you post that out on your social media for that other person because that does a couple of things. One, it creates an area where you're the subject matter expert. You're the people, you're the person connecting people. Okay, and you'd be surprised what that actually does for you uh, in your business. Number two, it's gonna get you a little bit out of your comfort zone. Uh, now you can say, I'm not gonna do it, and that's fine, but uh, it gets you a little bit out of your comfort zone too in posting that social media. Some people, you know, I think, I think you're pretty good at using social media. I'll be honest with it, I'm horrible at it, right? I'm horrible, I just, I, I was raised that, you know, hey, don't toot your own horn, you know, and all that stuff. Me too, that's Joe, yeah, yeah, and that's, that's I think it's a generational yeah. thing, right? Whereas you look at the millennials and they're like, do, 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 do. I did this. You know, exactly. It's like, look at my seventh place. You don't have to You know, but whatever the case may be, and I'm not picking on millennials, but they're really good at that. There's not any here, so you're good. Yeah, and so, but I also had people, John, if you don't toot your own horn, nobody will. And that is, and that is the truth. That is the truth. It's the truth. So in order to encourage that, we're going to start pairing people up, say, okay, your person this week, is gonna be, you know, this is the person you're assigned this week. You two get together, and that's, A, that's gonna assure the one-on-one -on -one happens in that specific instance. But number two, it's gonna get us out of our comfort zone and say, hey, and, uh, we're gonna look for that. And not only that, we'll post it out on the groups that we have, uh, you know, the National Lunch and uh, Networking Group. Uh, and then also, it'll be out on your group too. So what that's gonna happen is, again, trying to promote uh, our businesses. So. That's really uh, all I had for today in talking about uh, kind of the, what, what the future is going forward. It's to really, it, it's all about the connections, okay? It's all about getting together, getting to know one another, not just passing cards and say, okay, you know, who you got? You know, you want to buy my stuff. Uh, other than Linda, I think that's a hard sell. Everybody wants most, right? So. I'm definitely in a different category than most businesses. When I go to these networkings, I meet a lot of people that do insurance and financial advising or I'm selling. I'm selling a service. I mean, I don't sell like most. Like you guys will get to go eat most because I give you most books, but I don't get anything for that. You know, you go eat at most. I get nothing unless you give my love. I give you love. <laughs> what you were saying about building relationships, um, I have built this entire catering business from Moe's on relationships. This is what I've been doing for six years. Literally, I, I found Lori, and that changed everything. And then I started finding other networking groups, and then. You just mix and match, and I, I've invited John to groups, he's invited me to groups, and people do business and refer to people they know, like, and trust, and Zoom is great. Um, even having a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with somebody is still, you know, definitely counts, but getting to know the heart of somebody, I think, is the key, and learning how to do your coin, it's tough. Yeah. It, it is, is tough. it is. I mean, uh, yeah, I would love to put on LinkedIn my successes, and I should. I mean, if I put down and I increase catering sales by 29% for six consecutive years, year over year, that's gonna make people look at me. But I can do it. I, know. You know, I can tell you guys, but I just don't. You know, of course, 2020 is a different story. <laughs> So one, one phrase I want to close with on this is, you know, we've gone through a lot. We had uh, the, the death hornets or whatever. We had COVID. I uh, see the hornets. And we've got, uh, you know, we've sand got storm, you know, all the social. Storm, no. Yeah, the sandstorms coming in now. And we've got Locus. all that. Well, all in the Nashville area, we had the tornado. The right tornado, the yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so here's the thing that I, I always try to remember or mention to people and, and make sure that they remember that there's a reason that your windshield is huge and your rear view mirror is so small. Uh, so the phrase that pays for the rest of the year as we go into July, second half is the best half. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we've got some great things coming, uh, and you've got some great things coming in, not only in, in your networking, your business, but again, stay focused on that windshield, not the rearview mirror, and uh, every day's a new day of opportunity. So again, my name's John Cleaver. Thank you for letting me ramble here for the last few minutes, but uh, we've got some exciting things in store, and uh, glad to have you here. So, thanks.